What is a deconfliction service? A deconfliction service is a surveillance-based air traffic service. In addition to the provisions of a basic service, the controller provides specific surveillance-derived traffic information and issues headings and levels aimed at achieving planned deconfliction minima, or for positioning or sequencing. However, the avoidance of other traffic is ultimately the pilot's responsibility. When operating under a deconfliction service, the controller shall identify the aircraft, inform the pilot that they are identified and maintain identity. If identity is lost, the pilot shall be informed and the controller shall attempt to re-establish identity as soon as practicable. A controller shall provide traffic information, accompanied with a heading or level aimed at achieving a planned deconfliction minima. An example of this might be Golf Bravo Charlie Tango Foxtrot, avoiding action, turn left immediately heading 340 degrees. Traffic was right, two o'clock, eight miles, opposite direction. The pilot shall inform the controller if they elect not to act on the controller's deconfliction advice. The pilot then accepts responsibility for initiating any subsequent collision avoidance against that particular conflicting aircraft. An aircraft cannot be provided a deconfliction service below the unit's terrain safe level, with the exception of an aircraft departing an aerodrome and climbing to the terrain safe level. If a pilot requests to descend below the terrain safe level, controllers should apply a traffic service and inform the pilot. If there is a risk of collision during an aircraft departure and the aircraft is below the terrain safe level, the controller shall provide an avoiding action with terrain alert. A controller will provide a pilot headings or levels for the purpose of positioning, sequencing, or to achieve a deconfliction minima. When following a controller's heading or level, a pilot should not deviate from this without first advising the controller, as their aircraft may be coordinated against other airspace users. If a controller's heading or level is unacceptable to the pilot, they should advise the controller immediately. Additionally, a pilot can operate under their own navigation and may select their own operating levels, during which, and if required, a pilot is to advise a controller if they need to change their general route, maneuvering area or level. But ultimately, the avoidance of traffic is the pilot's responsibility. But how do controllers ensure they maintain deconfliction minima when controlling without a radar? Well, it wholly depends on your ability as a pilot. You really need to watch this next video to understand your responsibilities when operating under a procedural service because the information you provide to controllers ensures your own safety.